bronzer anyone? Today we're going to talk about the Hermes bronzer, specifically Atlas, which is the second shade amongst five shades in the new Hermes line of bronzers. There's also two highlighting powders or illuminating powders, depending on how you want to uh, categorize them. I have a whole host of bronzers in front of me. I have a whole drawer full of bronzers. These are just the powder ones. I'm not including the cream ones. Uh, and I thought what might make sense is for me to talk about the attributes of this new bronzer from Hermes, the pros and the cons. Then do swatch comparisons with all of the bronzers that I have, and there are a lot. Uh, and then the 01, which I ordered, it's not here yet. It's gonna take a while. It might even take like a week. I have no idea why. Um, I can add that. I can put that over on Instagram or maybe even post here with just swatches so you can see. So let's talk about the Hermes. So first of all, this is a huge bronzer. It's really large. Um, it is 0.63 ounces of product. And as I said, I have this in shade 02 Atlas. And I'm gonna talk about all of the shades and I'll put up pictures as we do it because there are five shades and they are I will give this to Hermes. They did spend time on naming and uh, deciding upon the shades that they chose. I'm not here to say whether, <laughs> actually I am here to say, I don't think they did a great job. Like I think, I think there needed to be either <sighs> more of them or I don't know, I'll, we'll get into it. But I think the shades are a little off, but let's just talk about Atlas for a second while I hold this up. Okay, so like I said, there are five shades. Atlas is the second one. And specifically, this is how they describe it. Each harmony evokes the color palette of one of the world's landscapes. Atlas, which is this one, beige hues with a sunny glow evoking the Moroccan desert a luminous shade to enhance the complexion. So as you can see, if you look at it next to my skin tone, I'm very pale. If you haven't watched my channel before, I'm like a B, BR12 in Chanel, B10 in Clé de Peau. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, well, like what other brands are out? You get it, I'm, I'm pale. I'm also cool toned. Um, my face is a little cooler than my hands. My hands and my body are probably more towards neutral. Uh, I tend to go with foundations that are a little cooler, but not pink, like peach, you know, uh, to kind of balance it out. So this is, this is warm on me, um, but it's actually a pretty shade. We'll get into it in just a second. Uh, but the formula in here, so again, 0.63 ounces. On the Hermes site, it's $105. I feel like it's cheaper on Nordstrom. I think it was like 98 on Nordstrom and Saks. I'll have to go back and check, but I, I think so. Um, anyway, so <laughs> these are just considered glow mineral powders. They're not even described as bronzers. And the description of the creation of this is that there are H, there's an H trio of mineral powders uh, inspired by three of nature's elements, air, sun, and earth. The healthy glow of mineral powder leaves a semi-matte veil of finely iridescent pigmented powder on the skin, illuminating the complexion for a natural warmth. The skin is gradually imbued with the depth and vitality as if kissed by the sun's rays, revealing a radiant and vibrant complexion. I love the people who write this stuff. Uh, it's just fantastic. 88% natural ingredients. I always, you know, like natural, okay. Belladonna is natural, you don't wanna eat it. Um, hydration, blurs and perfections. It does uh, have talc in it. I noticed that when I, when I pulled it up, it's the first ingredient actually. And, and a, do a number of different things that honestly, I, I am not qualified to comment on, but I did notice that the talc is in there. So $105 on Hermes.com, and then I think I'll put down below uh, what it is at, at Nordstrom and uh, Saks. All right, so there are five shades. There is 01, hopefully I'll have a picture of 01 go up. Totori, which is the one I ordered, I don't have it yet. Totori is a delicate veil of color that gracefully sweeps over the contours of the face. Uh, shades of light and luminous beiges reminiscent of the soft, subtle contrasts of Japanese dunes. 
So I'm going to assume that it's cooler because, again, it's shade one instead of shade two, which is Atlas. Also, um, it looks like more beige, more like maybe cooler leaning. Three is Sahara, um, which, of course, is the warm golden hues of amber and beige uh, for the Saharan wind. You know, that's the Saharan desert, that one or at least more, I am more familiar with. Uh, four is the um, scene, S-I-E-N-N-E, -E, a harmony of browns echoing scorched Tuscan earth and elevating the complexion with a natural warmth. That's gonna be more of like a reddish brown, I would think, the way I'm thinking of the, the shades. Uh, five is Colorado, which I think is interesting. Uh, the fiery intensity of the red hot earth in the Colorado desert is captured in the shade as radiant deep hues fuse into a luminescent light. I went to law school actually in Denver, and so I'm very familiar with Colorado. And yeah, I think what they're thinking of is like the red rocks of Colorado, which definitely has more of that red clay orange kind of shade. And I wish they had that actually in a cooler shade, um, which we'll talk about when I swatch this next to other things. Um, so the three shades that are in here, when it talks about trio mineral power uh, powders, air, sun, and earth, that there is three separate powders in here. And I'll be honest, I, on this one, I do see, see three separate shades, but they're very close. They're very close in nature. Maybe the other ones have more uh, demarcation between the three. We'll find out when I get shade one, but you can see there's a shade here on the outside on each side. There's a shade in the H, and then there's a shade in the space uh, between the H. So uh, those are three shades. I don't think we would try, I'm not gonna try to swatch it separately because if you put a bronzer brush in here, you're gonna get all of the shades. But they are they are warm. I would say it's the right intensity for me though. Um, and the shade that's the coolest is the one here and here. This is the same shade. That's the coolest shade. It has a little bit of sparkle in it as well. Very little, it's not like, it's not sparkly. It just has a little bit of, I think, luminosity. Um, they do say that there are hyaluronic acid derivatives in here and um, that should blur imperfections and keep you hydrated. So I do think that's interesting because I, I don't think many of my bronzers, if any of my bronzers, I'm not sure, have a hyaluronic acid in them. To be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, I do like that touch because I have dry skin. Now, the 0.63 ounces, we'll talk about, uh, you know, like, the price point, obviously, but to give you an idea, I want to show you the uh, the Chanel, which was the biggest bronzer I had had, the oversized uh, Chanel bronzer, it's the biggest one I've had ever, and this one is 0.53, so literally, this is bigger. Now, when you look at it, the size of the pan is not, but it must be deeper, because you get more product with this than with this. So I think that's really interesting. Um, they're about the same price if this Hermes is in the $90 range on uh, other sites. I feel like it is, but I could be, I could be just wishing that was the case. Uh, it's entirely possible. So only other things that I would mention that, that these are refillable um, and the refills should be sold separately. There is a pinpoint in the back here. So if the refill is a lot cheaper, that would be, you know, something to note. Although, I, I mean, I guess you can pan point, what, what did I say, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.63 ounces. I mean, yeah, I've used enough bronzer, so, but I think this is going to be around for a long time. Semi-matte, uh, which I, I would agree, that's, that's what it is. Uh, 12 months shelf life and made in Italy. So I can't think of anything else to mention. I'm gonna use my trusty Tom Ford brush. This brush doesn't exist anymore. Uh, the style does, the bristles do not. I've had this brush 20 years. So I think you can see the minute I put it on my face that this is the right intensity. I have, not, I have no blush on, I do have foundation, but no blush or anything like that. This is the right intensity for me. 
Um, I would not want a bronzer that is much deeper than this because if I took a bronzer that was a lot deeper than this, it would look weird on me. If you're one of those people who is, is pale like I am, you know what you look like when you've put on too much bronzer. It doesn't, it not only does it not look right, but it looks um, unflattering. Because when your skin is really pale, the whole point about a bronzer is to mimic, in a way, what the sun would do on your skin. And also to work as a way to contour in a certain way. Um, you know, it's a little different than contouring because it's not cool toned. Bronzer is, of course, to bronze the, the more of the high points of your face, but it also can contour uh, in the sense that it is creating shape to your face. You can see how my face looks more chiseled uh, now that I've got the bronzer on it. So this is a really good shade for me and actually I like it far more than I thought I was going to because when I saw this uh, swatched and I saw this in the pan, I thought it was going to be way too warm for me. But it's not. It's actually quite nice. I think it blends beautifully. I think it doesn't settle on the lines. I've worn this a couple of times now. I think it's very comfortable on the skin. I think the formula is excellent. It does have a scent. I don't know exactly what that scent is, but there's a scent there. There's a tremendous amount of product. The biggest bronzer I own. Uh, it's also the most expensive bronzer I own, but it has the most product in it. And of the Hermes products that have come out that have been powder, as in the base powder, that there was like a transparent one and then there was like a, a highlighting one, um, the blushes, the actual highlighter, this is my favorite product from Hermes as it relates to powder products. My favorite Hermes product really is probably the lip oils some of the lips, the lip, the glossy lips. I like the nail polishes. There's probably a couple of things from Hermes that I do like, uh, but I'm not a huge fan of Hermes Beauty in general. I think some of their products are good. Most of the time I'm just kind of like, eh. Um, but this I actually really like the product. I think it works extremely well as a bronzer. I think the shade is very nice on me, but it is warm. And when I swatch it next to other bronzers, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. However, in a bronzer, the makeup artist part of my brain goes, well, a bronzer is supposed to be warmer to be like a, a concealer, a, a, a contour is supposed to be cooler. The bronzer is supposed to be warmer. However, I often go towards bronzers that have like a coolish reddish undertone because that's what happens to my skin when I tan. I burn. <laughs> I don't really tan. My skin gets reddish. So it, it, it's, it mimics what I would naturally look like, to be frank. Uh, and, I, and I like that look. I think it's more, I look more just healthy. I look more like I have more blood flowing to my face. Uh, I don't look as, uh, you know, pale and, and slightly ill as I do most of the time. However, I really do think this particular powder makes me look very healthy and, and it looks very flattering on me. It is a semi-matte, but it also has um, a, a blurring effect on my skin, which it says it's supposed to, so, and it does. And it has a tiny bit of glow, like nothing like a, you know, highlighter or anything like that. But there's a tiny bit of um, iridescence almost glow to the formula and it's very, very pretty. The thing is though, it's $105 on the Hermes site and whatever it is on Neiman's or Nordstrom's, that's a lot of money to pay for a bronzer. That's just, let's just get to it. Let's just, let's just say it, right? Um, when there's lots of other bronzers on the market that are really good, quite a bit cheaper. Uh, I'm gonna go through ones that are like in range and then ones that are like way, way cheaper. So. I don't, I, it, if I didn't have the channel, would I buy this? Probably not. I probably wouldn't have picked it up at all because I'm not that big of a fan of Hermes products and I would have been just like, you know, why spend the money when I don't particularly love that line? Um, 
But now that I bought it, did I buy a shade one to try? I did. So I like it enough to try it in another shade, which is saying something. I think it actually looks really nice on the skin. I really like the way it looks on me. I think it blended really well. So I have nothing negative to say about it, except the fact that it's $105, which is a lot. To, that's a big negative right there. It's a huge amount of money, guys. It's huge. Um, and then my other comment about the five shades. So I look at these shades online and I, like anything, it's so hard to gauge what they really look like in person. So I will be interested to see what the 01 actually looks like when it gets here. I'm going to assume it's going to be cooler and, and lighter in, in tone because it's 01, this is 02. But don't know that yet. If I was just saying today, do I think I can wear this? Do I like it? Yes. I, I actually really do, but it is a warmer toned bronzer, which you're going to see as I swatch it next to everything else. The other thing I'd say about this is it is buildable. Like you can, I can make this deeper, like to show you, but I mean, this is a Rosenbend brush. I'm going to take this and kind of use it like this, um, to sculpt a little. And you can see that you can build this up. So if you are, I'm probably a fair to light if you're putting it on that scale. I'm a fair to light. So if you're a light to medium, this would work for you. You could build it up. Um, I think it would be a little bit too light, but it would work. If you're somebody on the other hand who really likes, you know, a deeper bronze, this is, this is not going to be deep enough. You're going to have to do uh, a three or above. But the thing is, I don't know with the three or above. I don't, I don't know how, warm they are versus cool. That's the thing, because I don't have. All right, so let's watch this. Again, this is uh, two. I'm gonna do three swatches, three swipes for each one. So that's Atlas Hermes. You can see the golden tones of it. Givenchy powder. This is a Healthy Glow powder. This is in zero one. One, two. Three. You can see that one is actually even more golden than the Hermes. I have Edward Bess. This is Ultra Luminous Bronzer in Daydream. So love Edward Bess. Can't really find it as much. Used to find it at Barney's. Two. This is actually one of my favorite bronzers that I don't talk about because you can't find it. Uh, it's, it's definitely cool toned bronzer. You can see though it's not as pigmented. It works really well for me, but for a lot of folks it's not enough pigment. And definitely cooler, almost peachier uh, than both of these, but you know so far the, the Givenchy is the most orange. Uh, next, Laguna from NARS. I have a little one. One. And you'll notice when I do this with like the formulas, these formulas, um, they all, they're all, all the ones I have that I'm going to swatch for you today are good, but the Hermes formula is extremely smooth. It like, it doesn't, you don't get powder everywhere. It's not hard to, it doesn't like bunch up. Um, and it doesn't, what I'm looking for, it doesn't get patchy. It's actually really, it's a really good formula. Um, so this is the Laguna. You can see for one, it's deeper. It's cooler, still has some gold, um, but it's more like brownish and much more luminous. All right, Westman Atelier. This is Coupe de Soleil. This is much deeper than it looks. I'm trying to keep these in order so I can remember how I put them on. So that's the Westman Atelier. Cooler, almost more um it has like a clay like almost like an orange it's kind of interesting on me anyway um this is uh lys this is motivate which is light like you see how i'm saying like it gets powdery and i have to kind of like brush it away you don't have to do that with the with the armes i will say deeper 
The Arme still has a little bit more of like a yellow tone to it. All right, Too Faced. This is milk chocolate. I actually like this bronzer. I don't usually have much in my collection that you would consider to be, um, you know, like mid-range brands, but I like this bronzer. It's a good shade for me because it's milk chocolate, so it has that cooler tone to it. But I will tell you, when you look at it, it's actually not that different from the Hermes. It's, it's cooler, but not by a ton. All right, next is Sicily. Uh, this is the Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. Um, this one, if I recall, is pretty deep on me. But I don't believe they... I either think they don't have another one, or I think this might be the only one they have. This one's, it's, it's deep. Beautiful powder though, because it's got that gel-like formula, so it goes on the skin so smoothly. You can see how smooth that is. But it's also incredibly pigmented and too deep for me, but I like to use it because I just love the formula. I wish they had a light shade. But you can see that one is definitely warm-toned and like leans almost towards like a terracotta shade. Next, let's move into, now there's some that I have several of. So let's move into Dior. I have the Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze that comes in this type of packaging. Definitely light. More peach, almost. And not very pigmented. I have Dior Forever Light Bronze that comes in the puffy packaging. I do like this formula from Dior, I will say. It's very soft and it just feels nice on the skin. If anything, I don't know if this has hyaluronic acid in it, but it wouldn't surprise me. That's zero two. And I liked it so much, I liked the formula so much that I went out and bought 04 in the same formula because 04, although deeper, looked much cooler. And as you can see, it is much cooler than the two. And even though it's, you know, four, so it's technically what, what you would consider a deeper color, it really isn't because actually I feel like that this is a little lighter in shade than, than the 02 and it's much cooler. Let's do Gucci, because I know everyone wants to see Gucci next to this. Gucci is one of my favorites. This is 01. Believe it or not, that's 01. And I love this bronzer. It's a fantastic bronzer for me. I'm gonna actually put it right next to the Hermes. And I want you to see the difference between the Hermes and the Gucci. So here's the Hermes, here's the Gucci. As you can see, the Gucci is much more pigmented. It's much cooler. It almost looks like a contour. It has like a little bit of a, not reddish, but like pinkish kind of bronzer. And the thing about it is I really like it. Like I said, the Gucci is one of my favorites, but it is a cool toned bronzer. So I tend to use it almost like a bronze tour, people call it that like a contour slash bronzer. I use it like throughout the whole area. Um, and it doesn't look like a bronzed goddess or god. It does not look like a, uh, you know, a bronze look, cause it's not. It, on me, you get this cooler shade because that's kind of what my skin does. Again, because I burn. But for most folks who have a neutral or warm skin or a warm undertone or a, uh, a cool undertone but not as cool as mine, a cool tone bronzer looks like contour and it can look muddy if you put it on like the higher points of your face. So Gucci 01 I love and I know a lot of other people who love it too, but I think it can be problematic and a little muddy on people that shade 01 if if your skin doesn't, if you don't have a very cool undertone, I think it can just look a little off. Plus, if you put it too high, I think it can look muddy. I tend to, to use the Gucci more like in this area, contour, contour, contour. Whereas bronze is more here, 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 here. Do you see what I mean? So that's the thing about the Gucci. Again, I love it, but just, 
mentioning. All right, Dolce & Gabbana. This is the ultralight bronzing powder in Sunrise. One of my favorites, but very hard to get. Great formula, strong scent though. Deeper uh, than the Hermes, more pigmented, and more, I'd say like almost more brown, but it is, it is warmer leaning, the Dolce & Gabbana. All right, we've got two Guerlain's that I pulled out, Terracotta. I have Claire Light and uh, Claire Rosé. Let's do the Rosé first. Okay, the Rosé is actually kind of similar to the Givenchy, which is interesting. Uh, not as luminescent, but more of that peach shade, even though it says Rosé, it's more of a peach. And then just the light shade, although Guerlain does run, in my opinion, warm. Like I, most of the Guerlain ones I think are warmer in tone, but that one's cooler. That's the Claire Light. Good formula from Guerlain, the terracotta bronzers. They are very nice, but you can see it's a cooler shade next to the Hermes is still warmer. All right. Getting into a Chantecaille. I have Chantecaille. This is Goa. Goa is also deep on me, but I love it. And I love it because it's unique in the, it's kind of like reddish, which is interesting because the package is reddish, but um, you'll see what I mean. It has this very deep undertone. It actually looks very cool and very bronze at the same time because it has like a reddish undertone to it. It's beautiful on the skin. I actually have to go in very light with it because I am so pale. So I just kind of fluff it around. I don't get as like this one I could build up the Hermes. You can't really do that with this one. Uh, it's not to kind of go on me, but it's one of my favorite bronzers because it has this really deep undertone, this reddish undertone that I think looks beautiful on the skin. Chantecaille also had one that they came out with, which was the Serena um, uh, collection, and this doesn't exist anymore. But I want to show it to you for those of you who have it. Uh, it looks like this, and there's a bronzer in here, and it's a really pretty shade. It has more luminescence than the Hermes, but you can see it's a really nice, really nice bronzing shade. It's like a golden. A little bit of coolness, um, but definitely more luminescent. All right, now we will get into Tom Ford. Uh, Tom Ford Mood Light is the first one. This is the old Mood Light. Very, very pigmented and very luminescent. Just, high, just doing the uh, bronzer part of it, not the highlighting part of it. You can see how luminescent that is. And it's very, it's actually very cool toned. Very, very different than the Hermes. All right, we're getting there. Um, now we have Terra, which is probably my, well, no, it's my favorite. It's my favorite bronzer of all time. Um, it's the one that got me hooked on bronzers because before Terra, I didn't wear bronzer. Now, Terra is a very cool toned bronze and it's very light. So unlike like the Go, which is cool toned, but deep, or the Gucci that's cool tone, but also deeper. This Terra shade is very, very light and cool toned. So it almost works as a contour, but it's got enough warmth in it to not make it a, a, a true contour. True contour has more of like a mushroom shade, like more of a grayish undertone almost. Um, so for me, it works extremely well, because again, Pale. I like the I like the cooler undertone. I think it's more natural for my face. But when I want warmth to my face, the the Gucci's and the Terras aren't as they don't work as well when I'm trying to warm up my face, like the Hermes does, or frankly many of these others do. There's lots of other warm ones in here that you can see that I actually really like. Um, but I just, again, it depends on what you're looking for. I generally don't like to add a ton of warmth to my face because it doesn't quite look natural. But with something like the Hermes, and there's a few others, and I'll go through them in a minute, it's okay because it's 
not to pigment it. Something that is very warm and very pigmented, like the um, Sisley, I have to be really careful with because it doesn't look right on me. It looks incongruent because my skin tone doesn't match it. Uh, next is Golden Sun by Tom Ford. And this one is very different from Dara. Gold Dust, sorry. Keep calling Golden Sun. Gold Dust by Tom Ford. You can see, first of all, it's much deeper than Terra. So much deeper than Terra. So much more pigmented. Um, and although it's gold dust, you notice how it's really actually neutral? It's not that warm. It's not that yellow. It's actually gold, but it's not. It's almost like, it's not really a gold shade, which I think is really interesting. Uh, okay. Charlotte Tilbury. We have number one and number two in the oversized trousers. Um, I'd also like to say that these are 0. Uh, 0.56. So these are still smaller in product than the Hermes. Just saying. Like, even though the packaging is much, much bigger, they're still smaller. So we're going to go with one first. One is super light, like really light. There's not, if you are a pale, like paler than me person and you want a bronzer that like works for you, that like you really don't like a lot of bronze and you're super pale, this is the one for you. Um, yeah, you can see how light it is. It's, it's like, it barely shows up on my skin. That's one. Two is a big leap from one. There is two. So you can see one is like non-existent, two is much, much deeper. Two is actually really pretty. I think it's kind of like my um, Dolce & Gabbana, which I really like. A little bit like the Guerlain, but a little deeper than that. Not, certainly not as deep as the Goa. Uh, but I do think it's pretty. I think two is nice. It's got a nice neutrality to it. Not too warm, not too cool. I do like that one. Last but not least, Chanel. So, first is the powder that I used to use before Chanel came out with bronzers. This is called Sunset. This is what I used to use for my bronzer when I wanted to do Chanel bronzer because Chanel didn't really have a bronzer. Uh, it's very golden leaning, similar to Hermes, but more peach and illuminating. And then last but not least, the very large Chanel oversized bronzers, which again, product-wise, um, still smaller than the Hermes. The Hermes is the biggest one I own. All right, let's do the light first. Light is what I wear most of the time. I'm gonna do it like this because I'm running out of warm space. All right, that is light in Chanel, right there. I think you can see pigment-wise, it's about the same as the Hermes, but it is cooler. It has more of a peach tone, whereas the Hermes is a little bit more golden. But it's so interesting because I have all these bronzers and they're all very different. All right, the medium Chanel. The medium Chanel has my favorite undertone. Um, I like it because it's a cooler undertone. It looks a little bit more like the Gucci or the Terra but it's deeper, but the problem is it's a little deep for me when I'm this pale in the winter. So I have to be a little bit more careful with it, but I do really like it. So oftentimes I'll use it and just go in really lightly. Okay, this is deep from Chanel. This is too deep for me, um, but I like it because I like the undertone in it. But yeah, it's too deep of a shade for my ridiculously pale skin. But I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautifully done. I really like the, the shades. All right, so I'm gonna go through all of them, tell you what each one is. Ready? Here we go. Okay, this is the Gucci. This is the Hermes. This is Edward Bess. This is Givenchy. Nars Laguna. Westman Atelier. LYS Light. Too Faced Milk Chocolate. This is the Sicily. This is the Dior. Make sure I get the right one. Uh, Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze. This is Dior 2. This is Dior 4. Let's go back down here. We have Dolce & Gabbana. We have 
the Guerlain Terracotta Light Cool, and then we have Light, I'm sorry, Light Rosé, and then Light Cool. Then we have Chantecaille Goa. Then we have Chantecaille from the Ceramic Collection that doesn't exist anymore. Then we have Tom Ford Mood Light. Then we have Tom Ford Terra. Then we have Tom Ford Gold Dust. Then we have Charlotte Tilbury 1, Charlotte Tilbury 2, and Ch Chanel, this was the uh, powder in Sunset. Then we have the oversized bronzers by Chanel, light, medium, and deep. So, I'd say for the Armes, the closest in shade is either the Chanel Light or the Charlotte Tilbury One. They're the closest. But the Tom Ford, the uh, Hermes is definitely more golden, like yellowish, golden than practically any other bronzer I own. Like you can see it just for yourself. My final thoughts are a little up in the air on this one, guys, because formula I like. I definitely would, the formula is excellent. The size is excellent, 0.63. That's, that's a lot of, it's a lot of bronzer. The price is way too high. You're paying for the Hermes name, no doubt. The shade, I, I just think it's a little yellow, um, but, but I have to admit, on my skin, I think it looks really nice. I just have to see it outside. Uh, once I get the zero one, I can give you a better, maybe I just have the wrong shade. Maybe the zero one will be a little bit cooler and perfect. Maybe the three will be cooler and perfect. Don't know. Uh, there's a little bit of a scent, but not too strong and it's refillable. So I have a mixed review. I don't, it's not, it's not, they hit it out of the park and it's not terrible. It's kind of in the middle based on the price is ridiculous. The shades I'm kind of uncertain. I can't really tell. And they're not readily available in like, you can't just go to Nordstrom's and look. So at least I haven't seen them in my local Nordstrom's. Um, maybe the Saks downtown has it. I mean, I could check, but that's the bigger thing. I just can't, I can't figure out the shades, like which shade I'm supposed to be because they all look very similar. And the three shades that are in here, you know, it says there's three shades in here. They look almost identical. Maybe it'll be different in the others. So we'll see. Sorry, guys. I wish I had a more like definitive answer, but at the moment I don't. That's where we're at. So more to come. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.